so I'm recovering from a chit chat with a high crash. Here are two things that I saw. Guy sprawls. I saw a guy sitting out to do it. Now watch me drive across to the double. It's hard to push off your boot hops. So what you want to do, when I said we are going to step to the outside and be like a windshield wiper, my shoulder is going to pull his hip towards me so I can cut him double, take him to his back for back. So a lot of guys sitting to the hip had to correct that. Second thing I said is when you're in here, post with the inside arm. So when you do pivot and retract, you are in good position to drive and you can take him to his back. So if my outside arm is here and I have an inside post, when I retract, I can take him to, with the double to the back. Every guy I saw posting with the outside arm and trying to pull with the inside arm was doing this. They were coming here posting with the outside arm and when they would do it, they would try to come up and get behind for two. That is stalling. If you don't put the guy on his back when you were supposed to, that is stalling. What's two points compared to five again? Crack. Crack. All right, don't do that to your team. Don't do that to your coaches. Take him to his back where he belongs, and then it comes back to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, pick the guy. Holy crap, I almost forgot. When you get back here, you're thinking, oh, yeah, pin the guy. I'm like, oh, shoot, I got a take down. Come on. All right, so when we're in here, pose with the inside. And you step the outside and retract, it pulls his hips. This way, if you break both your arms, just make sure that if you take shit shot and you break your arms right here, when you circle right here, your shoulder is pulling him. Make sure you keep that head and get back point. All right? You do want the inside arm to post, not the outside. Inside arm post gives you the opportunity to get to that double and take him to his back. Get those back points every time, every time, every time. When you drill it, drill it that way. Here's the thing, you can drill a thousand double legs, a million double legs, but if you do it with bad technique, you may never score. Perfect practice makes perfect. Practice makes permanent. You do not want permanent shit shots. Unless you plan to recover from them and still get five out of it, that's fine. All right? So, all right. So that, that was that. All right, now, how do I get in on a high crotch? Believe it or not, when I was wrestling, even though I was pretty bad on my feet, attacking people's legs when I was competing, I really didn't understand and learn how to shoot until after I had retired. And the USA coaches all the time used to make fun of me, including Coach Humphrey over there. And they always used to say, man, your shots suck. Well, can you be nicer about it? No, my shots suck. But that was fine. I, I was, somehow I was always able to turn it into five from shitty shots. So what I'm going to do from here, in order to set the guy up, I was always taught to get the guy to step. And then when I go to attack, he step. And I'd be like, here. And then the guy would, I'd be like, give me the freaking. And then I'd get kind of pissed off and then take a shit shot. And then I'd have to recover somehow. And, and you know. It was just kind of frustrating. So when I realized that I don't want to step with him because wrestling's like dancing, right? So if I go here and then I go to step, he follows it. If I want to set up a single and I step and then I go to, he follows me. I am his, I'm the lead. I'm the guy, he's the girl. <laughs> All right. But I mean, wrestling, you don't need to see what's going on. You can feel it with your body. So if I do want the high crotch, I'm in a little tug. Boom, now I am in there. Boom, now I'm in there, outside arm, elbow deep. And all I'm doing is I'm tugging, I'm tugging, I'm tugging, I'm here, thank you. Now, instead of me having to have a penetration step and get to him, I'm saying, come here, yeah, I think, come here. And then the people start saying, oh my God, you got faster in your old age, yeah. I got there faster because they were coming to me. I didn't have to chase them no more. All right? So, right here, a little tug. A little tug. Once they step, boom, I'm in on my high crotch. Now I can finish it with all those things that we just went over. I want you to do that 20 times each, each person. Tug, change your level. Tug, change your level. Tug, change your level, get in there. Just get them to step. Don't step with him. 
Make him step only. Any questions? Where'd your partner go?